Hello, this is Bonnie, and this is um, the next segment of creating this background. And so far, if you watched the first segment, you saw how I did the reverse stamping using my um, speedball rubber block. And I wanted to tell you really quickly that I just cleaned this off with alcohol ink. From what you saw at the very end, I just cleaned it off with alcohol ink. So this time I am going to be working on the moon and um, I'm using the Lavinia, the Lavinia stamp moon and I am going to be stamping this with um, VersaFine Clear Nocturne, or not Nocturne, but um, Morning Mist. This is a light gray. And what I do with this, once I stamp it, is I emboss it with clear embossing powder. And I want this moon set up so I can add stars to it. So the way I stamped this one is I left the big opening up at the top. You can do whatever you want, but that's what I chose to do. And again, like I said, I'm going to be using clear embossing powder on this. And uh, Lavinia World um, also um, has the uh, Nouveau embossing powder, and this is the, the clear. And I'm going to be using that. And I need to open the lid. I have used other embossing powders before. I had not used this one, and I didn't take the little lid off. There we go. Okay. So that should be all set and ready. And this is what I use when I do my embossing. I have a little tray. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that on. Making sure I get that covered. And I'm going to go ahead and um, heat emboss that really quickly. I didn't think that you really wanted to watch me heat embossing. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And maybe you can't see, but it has a little bit of a uh, uh, shine. And I kind of like that. It makes the moon look shiny. So then the next thing I did was I used antique linen for the center of, oh, before I do that, excuse me, I need to stamp my stars. So using the same acrylic block, I add the stars. And I was going to see, I know I set those um, someplace. I don't know where I put those all of a sudden. When they find, oh, here they are. The moon and the stars. I really wanted you to know the moon is LAV431. And the stars are LAV299. And I already showed you in the previous video the um, the tree root and the tree root is LAV160. I'll have the links to all of these in the description. So um, I still used the um, Nocturne, not Nocturne, I keep saying Nocturne, the Morning Mist VersaFine Clear to add the um, stars. But in this case I had some embossing powder in my stash that I am going to be using. So um, I want to show you, I kind of rotated the stars again to match where the moon opening was, and this is what I did. And I also want to tell you, when you stamp over embossing, um, the embossing or the stamp doesn't stay to the embossing because it is protective, so it doesn't really stick to that. So. That is that stamp. Now what I do, like I said, I have what's called a bridal. Um, it's not um, clear. It's a bridal sparkle. And it's what I use for my stars. I need to grab my piece of paper so I can dump that off because my other thing already has some embossing powder in it because I couldn't clean that off while I'm doing it. Okay. 
So you can see that's a little bit more subtle. It's not as dark. Once I put more of a solid um, opaque or a solid um, embossing powder. So that was called Bridal. Um, I'm not sure if there's something comparable into the Lavinia world. If there is, I will link that down below. It's really important to make sure that you um, heat emboss these. If you want to be putting the ink over it in the way that I'm doing it, it's just really important to make sure they're, they're done ahead of time. Okay, so the next thing I did, as I started saying previously, is I used Distress Oxide Antique Linen for the center. Ever so lightly, I don't push really, really hard. Just ever so lightly, just to get that little bit of a color going there. Then as I go, I add a little bit more of the scattered straw. It's just a little bit darker than the antique linen. And that's just around the outside of that now. Because I want the center to stay light. Oops, I'm feeling some powder I missed. I'm going to have to go back over there really quickly because I don't want to be missing out on the powder. So hold on just one second. I need to heat some of this up. Okay, that's much better. I don't need the embossing powder to be moving all over the place. I mean, I thought I had gotten it. Okay, so we've got that. And then the next, oh here, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I can see it's lacking in this one spot. Okay, I got a little bit more down there, but that's all right, because we're gonna add more. Um, so the next color that I wanna add is a little bit of this purple. And I won't remember, okay, here we go. Oh, and the purple is Dusty Concord. And we're just gonna go there ever so lightly around the edge of the moon. If it seems a little bit dark, I, I go back and I just keep adding the other colors and it kind of takes that, a little bit of that edge away too. Okay. Like I said, if you can always, whenever you're doing it, don't have your hand as heavy if you don't want as much, like if you didn't want as much of the purple showing, um, have your hand a little bit lighter. It's all your preference and when you go to make your own. Okay, so we've got the purple going. That's probably all I'll add of the purple together. And then I'm gonna go back to the, um, I used the Mermaid Lagoon when I first started the background. So I'm going to be using the Mermaid Lagoon again, getting my right color brush, and um, I'm going to be taking some of that harshness away. As you can trying to do that a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the um, cracked pistachio.
And then I'm going to go back and add just a little bit more of the um, antique linen to the center of the moon and a little bit of the scattered um, straw. So, and then the moon um, will be finished. And we'll add a little bit of color to the um, trees. And just want the outside of this. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look at like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit closer. And we're gonna just add a little bit of um, gathered twigs to the trees. And we don't need a big brush for that, we just need a small one. Oh, yeah, and so all I'm gonna do is come in here and add a little bit of brown all the way around. And then we're gonna be finished with just the background, and I will be adding more to this project in another segment. The next segment, you will see the completed project. In fact, I'll have two completed projects at this, in this case. Okay. So some people might be perfectly happy with this as the end result, but I'm adding, gonna be adding more this is just still the base for me of what I want to do. Um, I know that eventually I'm going to be adding some white um, gel pen for trees, or trees for stars, so silly me. So that is just the basic um, part of the card. Our project, it doesn't have to be a card. This can be put on a box, an altered box. So I just wanted you to see we have the two different, they're not exactly the same, but they're similar. This one, you can see the halo shows a little bit more and this one's a little bit more subtle. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video for now. And again, I'm gonna be having the links down below and I'll have yet another segment based on this um, project. Thanks for watching.